Okay, so the purpose of this video is to get an idea about what Shopify is like. Um, so I'm going to take you from signing up for the very first time and seeing how difficult it would be for someone who's a total novice at building a website. Um, I am not a total novice. I uh, know HTML and CSS, and I usually build websites within WordPress. Um, but I thought it is a good idea to see um, what other options are out there. So for the sake of this video, I'm actually just as much of a novice as you might be in trying to figure out how this interface works. So I've never done this before, and I'm just going to start like you would start. So first of all, it looks like um, you can try Shopify free for 14 days at no risk and no credit card is required. So that's a good thing. So I'm gonna enter uh, the email address that I'm going to use. And I'm going to start my 14 day free trial. I, let's see. I am going to put in a password. Oops, what's, what's going on? They don't give you an opportunity to enter your um, password twice. You can make sure that the name is right, but okay. So I'm gonna make up a store name. So I'm imagining that Shopify is more for, you are actually selling product. This is not a service-based kind of thing. This is specifically for product. So I'm gonna make up a store name. Um, a store with that name already exists. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna do this, Lil Beardos. Okay, so you'll find out about Beardos in a minute. It was a project I worked on in school and uh, just using it for the purpose of this tutorial. Oh, okay, are you already selling? No, I'm, I'm selling just not online. I'm not selling products yet. I'm just playing around. I sell with a different system. I'm going to say I'm not selling products yet. Um, yeah, I'm just going to say that. Um, do you have something to sell? Yes, I have a product to sell, and I'll be ready to launch in a few weeks. Okay, we're going to go that route. Uh, what is your current revenue? Uh, I'm just getting started, so I have no revenue. Are you setting up a store for a client? So I guess if you're a developer or a designer like I am, you can do that. I'm curious about that, but I won't do that now. I will do this as if I am you, the beginning web builder. Are you setting up a store for a client? I'm going to say, I'm just going to ignore that and um, click the next button. Okay, so add an address so you get paid. Um, that right now, I'm just gonna put this, and uh, let's see, I'm gonna skip that. I live in the Grange, uh, Illinois. Put the zip code, I'm gonna put my phone number, uh, or a uh, close facsimile. And I'm gonna put Lil Beerus as my website. Do I have to put the dot com? I guess so. Okay. So now it just says go into your store. Um, I don't want to put a street address. I'm gonna do my lo local post office. Where I do actually have a PO box, but 
this is just an experiment so or I should say this is just the first video and more we'll get into more detail later so okay welcome to Shopify Cheryl there are some things here are some tips to help get you started your trial just started do I have to select the plan Oh, it wants me to do that, um, but I don't want to do that right now, but these are the plans. So you pick a plan to use when your free trial ends. I wonder if it's, it, it's not going to ask me for a credit card, but um, $29 a month, that's basic Shopify. Uh, you can start selling products on your store, on your secure and beautiful online store with low credit card rates. So they do credit card processing for you, as does Wix. Um, credit card rates uh, online 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction and in person 2.7% plus 0% per person. So what that means is that when you do your credit card processing, if it's online, um, that's your first rate. And then if someone's, uh, if you're standing uh, with someone with a, I don't know if they give you a machine or something to, to to scan your card, um, then there's less of a percentage weight and no um, plus fees. And you can have two accounts and um, there's a shipping discount, which they do shipping to, I didn't know that. Okay, so, and then this plan goes up from there, get more sales and features like gift cards, professional reports, and abandoned cart recovery, um, and then the, along with the credit card processing so you pay $79 a month for that and then the advanced one for $299 save time and money with our lowest credit card rates advanced report builder and third-party calculated shipping so it does the shipping stuff for you um, the rates are lower you know they go from 2.9 to 2.4 um, you get multiple staff accounts if you need to have them um, okay so you sell with the buy button on Facebook and in person with point of sale for only $9 a month. Uh, remove the online store channel. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is, but it must relate to each of these. So you're paying extra for this point of sale, this uh, buy button on Facebook. You're paying Oh no, I guess you're paying an additional $9 a month. Okay, so let's move away from here because we're not going there. Um, we are just going to um, go with the free version. So let's go back to our home and add a product to start selling. Take the first step to launching your store. Add physical items, digital download services or whatever. So it didn't really ask me about designing my site, um, but let's, See, okay, so uh, take the first step to launching your store, your store, add physical items, digital downloads, services, or anything else you can dream up. So you can do services here. Customize your online store to match your brand. Choose a theme and make it stand out with a custom logo, product slideshow, and other features. So you can customize. Add your own domain to strengthen your brand. Your current domain is Lil Beardos dot myshopify.com add or buy a custom do domain to help customers remember your online store so let's start with um, customizing the theme oh let's go here too so find more ways to sell Shopify sell with Shopify sales channels um, so sell in person with Shopify uh, point of sales so that must mean let's find out uh, sell your products anytime, anywhere, and on any device with the Shopify point of sales app. Uh, sell your products anywhere uh, with a free card reader. Tap to add products in cart, accept payments, email receipts. Um, learn more about point of sale on Shopify app store. So I'm guessing that you would um, go here, you would get the app, um, and they would somehow get your free card reader, this little thing right here, to you. Um, that works the same as Squarespace, um, which is, is a, in itself a sort of a place where you can sell um, and they do the credit card processing for you. That was Squarespace. Um, but yeah, I, I understand what's going on here. Okay, so we're not gonna add any sales channels right now, but I just wanted to point out that feature was there. 
Um, I think we can go back to home. And so now we know what that is. You can also sell on Facebook, so there's an interface for that. Um, you can add products to an existing uh, website, uh, etc. Let's see, you can bookmark your store for easy access. Um, and then it has some supporting um, tutorials, it looks like here. Um, and that's a good thing. Okay, so let's go to customize the theme. And where do I go? Okay, I go right here where it says customize theme. Okay, so image with text overlay. Uh, use overlay text to give your customers insight into your brand. Select imagery and text that relates to your style and your story. So it's pointing out over here to you that your header is right here and right now it currently says announce something here. I'm just going to type testing one, two, three. Save, where's that go? Um, I don't know where that went. Um, there's an announcement bar and I'm not seeing it. Okay, um, that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and upload an image. And um, I mentioned that I'm going to make this Beardos. Beardos are um, these, what's it called? Uh, I forgot the name of the clay. Sculpey. There are these Sculpey, Sculpey figures that I, um, I did. I'm going to just use this. And this is not pretty. I just wanted to have something to use for this tutorial. So, um, if I was going to actually use this image, it would be more refined. I would do some effects on it to make it, um, you know, look more in the now. Uh, right now, it, the, you know, it doesn't have any professional touches to it. So I'm going to, okay, so it's real easy here to see. Um, there's a save button there for us, so I'll be able to use that. I'm thinking that the, the issue here is that you don't get a live, like I think what we've corrected was this text right here, but it's not doing it live. So let me say, I would use this image and then maybe use another image. Just use this for now. So let's see. It's not working anymore. Like I don't see an hourglass. I've made these changes. Oh, oh, this is the logo image. Isn't it? Okay. I'm just gonna um, go back because whatever it is, yeah, it's the header. I was in the header. Here, we're gonna go to the image with the overlay. And this time, instead of, um, <laughs> instead of uploading um, what I uploaded, I'm gonna upload something else. <laughs> I am going to upload, I'm gonna upload, I'm gonna upload this because I think it's kind of cool in black and white. Okay, so the image is too large. Resize it or choose a, le a file less than 20 meg. Okay. Okay. I don't want this to take forever. Well, this one seemed to work. I'm just gonna use, use this one. Does that work?
Okay, that worked. Okay, so yeah, this is a project I did in design school. Um, okay, and okay, so you can do alt text there, that's good. The heading will be, um, so you do get automatic update, that's good. Beardos, these little characters. So it's kind of nice when you, I thought I could just move the image up like that if I want to, but it doesn't look like I can. I'm going to put these are cool little dudes who like to grow hair just like you. <laughs> I don't know who this would be marketed to, but they were fun make, to make. Um, so section height right now is medium. I'm going to change it to large. Actually, medium is better. I like that better. It's not the best image, but it gets across the idea. Uh, the text size. I don't exactly like the font. Let's see where do you go to change uh, the font. Okay, so I don't see an option here for changing the font. You can go text large or medium. It's already on large. Um, okay, we're just going to leave that there and we're going to hit save. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go back. Uh, let's add, let's add a product picture. What if I wanted to change this? I can't just click on it. Okay, do I have to go back? Uh oh, what did I do? I'm gonna go to my store. No, that was a theme store. I'm gonna go back to customize theme again. And oh, so I guess I have to go to the feature collection. So that's how it works. So this is feature collection, and this is images with text, which, okay, that's image with text. Let's see if I'm right. Image with text, testing, yeah, that's it. And then um, I upload an image here. Let's see what this is. I want that. Oh, I want that image. Okay, how about can I put that? I should. Can I put that image there? I think it's too large. Maybe it will. I don't know if it'll squish it or if it'll let it span its actual dimensions. It's because you can see it's a landscape image and this is a square. So let's see what it does to it. Oh, it didn't squish it. Ah, it, it let it take its own size. So that's cool. So, Beardo, Beardo's word design. Um, for the love of beards and what do you call that? What's that term? Uh, hipster, hipster style. Like I know anything about hipster style. Okay, uh, and then I'm just gonna hit save. So there's one. We're just playing with how easy or how difficult it is to set up a site. So I'm gonna do probably one product go back and I'm going to click here to add actual product. Nope, it's not letting me do that. Is it letting me and I'm just not seeing it? Mm, no, that's not, that's not it. How do I add a new product?
I don't see any hourglassing, so that's not correct. How about uh, general settings? Okay, so I can do colors. Let's change the background color to, uh, let's change the color to, oh, white is always the best color for products. So let's not change the background. Let's change the text. Let's change the text to, I just said typography, I just saw it. Now let's change the header text. Headings, okay, there we go. I want it, I want this crazy green. Ah, oh, it's perfect. There we go. Okay, another typography, sand, semi bowl. I want to do something real bottle bowl. There we go. Trying to change the text earlier. So it looks like you have to universally change the text um, across the site, which is not always the most convenient thing. You usually want to be able to change um, per situation or per page, although yes, you should just use um, two or three typefaces on your site. Um, I'm looking for something bold. No, I guess that's bold. I don't like it. And it doesn't really matter, I suppose, since I'm just testing this out. Um, Okay, I shouldn't be taking so long on this. I'm gonna go with the bowl. Okay, we're just gonna leave it there. That's that. Okay, so just hit save. And then um, we learned that this image here is actually for your logo. So don't put a picture up here the way I did. It should be a logo and not a picture of you doing something. So there's that. Okay, so like, as I said, this is not an actual tutorial as to how to set up the site, but I just wanted to see how complicated it may be to start uploading products. It looks like, you know, a small fix to figure out um, how to actually um, upload products, but um, in terms of uh, the menus and the interaction, it looks like it's, you know, relatively simple to get your site started. So how do we publish a site and go take a look at it live? Um, okay, does that mean it's live, this button right here? That even before I've fine-tuned it, it's already live? Um, that's what's confusing. So yeah, I think we should do some tutorials for Shopify because it could help you. Uh, Make your site a little bit. Okay, so then it shows you what it looks like here on uh, desktop and on uh, your phone. So let's see what else. Does it give me the option to publish now? How do I know if it's live? How do I know what my web URL is? It's uh, not very obvious. Okay, let's go home. And, okay, so we've done that. Oh, I see. So you have to keep going back home and you add your products here. It's on a different page. Got it. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, I'm going to order. I like just one show this. Um, I like this. I like my beard all showing up in. And why? Oh, it's too big. So your images have to be below 20 meg. It's a pretty big image there. <laughs> that guy. Okay. Uh, I think this one might work. It did work. Okay, good. 
And normally you would probably show one product and not three at a time like that. But uh, for the sake of an experiment, we're gonna just break all the rules. So I was gonna call this guy Harry. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. And um, Harry was mean with love and care. And care. Well, I was at home sipping wine and I'm um, just feeling creative. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, I'm not gonna tell you whether I really was sipping wine. Well, actually, you can't really sip wine. You have that sculpey all over your hand. <laughs> anyway, so I will sell Harry for um, uh, $9.99. Um, compare it the non-existent cost of $14.99. And yeah, you have to pay taxes. And um, so if I gave it a SKU number, I would call it Harry, I guess. And um, the weight is probably, um, uh, let's say, eight-tenths of a pound. Oops, so that would be 0.8. Okay, and then I don't think about tariff codes, fulfillment service is manual for now, and then um, variants. That means like if there's a uh, Harry with a green shirt, Harry with a blue shirt, etc., you could upload um, that individual image of Harry. So let's go ahead and save the product. Okay, so you've added your first product. That's awesome. And then continue setting up your store. I want to go and see what I uploaded. So how do I do that? Um, oh, view. Okay, so there's Harry, and um, well, Harry and his brothers. But um, if I click on this, normally, okay, when you click on the logo, it should take you back to the home page. So that's how we got here. Um, Okay, so there's, of course, a lot of things could be improved about, uh, about this site. Um, first of all, the image is not the best res resolution. It doesn't look professional. There's a lot of things that could make this look the way it's supposed to look. And um, that's, I'm saving for another video. But for now, you pretty much can see that it doesn't take very long to set up Shopify, get going, get selling, and making it happen. Um, Okay, so if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.